we here at Late Night don't always have enough time to cover all of the recent news. So here with the recap is one of our writers, Amber Ruffin, in the segment we call Amber Says What? <laughs> Okay, first of all, I heard that Amy Robach and TJ Holmes from Good Morning America were having an affair, and I was like, what? <laughs> then I read that they got kicked off the show, and I was like, what? <laughs> then I heard that their exes are dating each other, and I was like, what <laughs> is Good Morning America doing? Let all four of them host together and give us the chaos we deserve. <laughs> Make that show last 24 hours long. Bring in a couple's counselor and let the Emmys roll in, baby! <laughs> then I saw that Beyonce went to the opening of Taylor Swift's movie, and I was like, what? Why? <laughs> Taylor is no Beyonce. Then I saw that Taylor went to Beyonce's movie, and I was like, what? <laughs> then I read that they went to each other's openings because people are always pitting them against each other, and they're sick of it. So I was like, what? I've been doing that. <laughs> and then I vowed to stop. So then I read Taylor Swift was named Times Person of the Year, and I was like, what? <laughs> A lovely choice. <laughs> then I saw the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree arrived, and I was like, what, 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 what? Oh, geez, beautiful, loves attention, and is always at 30 Rock? Who are you, me? <laughs> then I read everybody was furious because Chris Wallace told Adam Driver he was ugly in an interview. <laughs> and I was like, what? So, turns out, Chris Wallace was like, you don't look like the typical movie star, and would your career be better if you were better looking? And I was like, this is what happens when you let older white men talk to young people. <laughs> Look, watch this. Hey, Seth, what did you say when you met my niece? Oh, uh, do you like Matchbox 20? See, a bunch of mess! <laughs> what do you mean? What does that even mean? Then I saw George Santos joined Cameo, and I was like, what? My favorite messy diva, George Santos, is on Cameo? What a perfect Christmas gift. So I bought us all a little Cameo from him. Hey, it's me. George Santos, don't be giving me any money. If you do, I'll probably just use it to steal another baby. Then, that's on you. This is definitely me, George Santos. George Santos played video games, right? Then, I heard Brenda Lee recently celebrated that her song, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, made it to the top of the Billboard 100 for the first time since 1958. And I was like, what? Then, I found out she was only 13 when she recorded it, and I was like, what does a 13-year-old know about rocking around the Christmas tree? <laughs> Girl, you better have a seat. You're not old enough to be rocking around the nothing. It's a little fast tale. <laughs> then, during a town hall, Trump was asked if he got elected, was he going to be a dictator? And Trump replied, only on day one. And I was like, what? <laughs> the correct answer was no. <laughs> Unless you're asking me that question, then the answer is yes. The citizens of Ruffinland are required to give me little kisses. Fear and applaud me, or else. <laughs> you would love to live there. You would never leave. Then I heard that it's Seth's birthday soon, and I was like, what? Then I heard he was turning 50, and I was like, what? <laughs> because I assume his hearing is starting to go. <laughs> Seth. If you can hear me say Amber is the most beautiful and talented writer I ever met and we should trade salaries. I'm not saying that. He can't hear. <laughs> then I read that FSU was left out of the college football playoffs even though they were undefeated. And I was like, what? This really affects me because I think those players at, I want to say Florida State University? Yeah, that's right. Worked really hard to win. <laughs> like somewhere between 10 and 15 games. Yeah, right again. Yes, and they should be commended for that. So you gotta blame the head of football, Dan Marino? No. What? Shut up, I did my best. Then the White House delayed its ban on menthol cigarettes over concerns that it will hurt Biden's popularity with black voters. And I was like, what? 
the nerve. How dare you be so loud and so right? <laughs> then, the Oxford Dictionary named the slang word riz as the word of the year. It means having style, charm, or attractiveness. Seth, you got any riz? Shoot, this riz guy is slanging these interviews on the daily. I mean, not as much Riz as Matchbox 20, but... Never mind. Guys, this has been Amber Says What? <laughs> Amber Roman, everybody, we'll be right back with Kate McKinnon.